What's going on? Today I want to share with you what I'm calling the three second rule. I teach my children this and I teach clients this and this is something that will greatly impact your existence and it will ultimately allow you to learn how to let go of shit that's been bothering you or impacting your life. So I was recently asked by a YouTube subscriber, she said that she had gone into the store and she's walking through the store and she sees an old acquaintance, this lady that she used to know. And she's like, hey, how you doing? And the lady goes, and she said, wait, do you remember me? I'm so-and-so. And the other lady was like, yeah, I remember you. And then just turned her back and walked away. This situation drove this woman crazy for the rest of the day. The rest of the day, periodically throughout the day, she's sitting there going, my God, what has she heard about me? Why did she act that way? What is she thinking about me? And so she asked me, she said, Silas, how? I know I'm supposed to let it go. And all day I was sitting there going, I'm gonna let go, I need to let this go. But how do I do that? How do I let this shit go? And so I shared with her this three second rule. I teach my children this. And ultimately, if you practice this three second rule, you will quickly learn both consciously and subconsciously how to just let shit go. And it, it basically works like this. There's two phases to this three second rule. Number one, the, before you start the three second rule, you need to ask yourself, is this something that I can control? In this case with this uh, YouTube watcher, no, she cannot control what somebody else thinks about her, what somebody else has heard about her. She cannot control that. Yes, she can, from this point forward, begin to influence the way that this woman thinks about her, but she cannot control what she has past tense heard or think about her. And once we've determined that it's not something that you can fucking control, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice the three second rule. And that is this, you can for three seconds, bitch, whine, complain all you want about the situation. Man, I can't believe that fucking woman would treat me like that. That's that bitch crazy. And now we're letting it go. And the way that we let it go is the second, is the second part of this. And that is really simple. This is the most powerful and the easiest way to let shit go. And I'm gonna preface it by saying this. Typically when we're struggling with something, the struggle seems real, right? It seems palpable. And the reason why we're struggling is because we're going, my God, I know this isn't something I, I can control, and I know it's not something I wanna give my energy to, but my mind subconsciously just keeps going back and replaying this situation, this circumstance, this accident, this problem, whatever it is, replaying it over and over and over. If you've been there, and I know that you have, this is how you do that. You start by, here's how you let go. You start by asking the question, is this something I wanna give my energy to? If an affirmative no, I don't want to give my energy to this, rises from your, from your, in your mind and out of your mouth, then the second part of, of part two is this. Then choose, consciously make a choice, be intentional, be on purpose, what you do want to give your energy to. In this case for her, she could choose, how do I want to influence moving forward how she does think about me? And what ways can I begin to do that? And so what that does then is now her mind starts working towards a positive solution. So her attention and all her energy is not focused on what she has thought, but how can I better make my community think what I want them to think about me? What are some actions to take? And now her mind is generating positive thoughts about herself and creative thoughts about how to move forward. So this is simple. Your mind needs something to think about. And you consciously get to decide what energy 
you want your mind, where, where, in other words, what energy you want your mind moving towards or where you want to give your energy, your physical, mental energy, what you want to give that towards. And so you make the decision. And then focus, give your energy and your attention to that decision. If your mind starts to want to go back to that, to the, uh, to the previous or the negativity, the previous thing, then that's your marker or your reminder. No, I'm giving my energy to this. This is what I choose. This is called the three second rule, guys. I hope this helps. Matter of fact, uh, if you apply it, if you actually do it and you apply it and you practice it, I promise, I guarantee it will help. If you try this out and it does help you learn to easily, more easily let things go, <laughs> then drop your comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you feel about this video. Drop the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you have any questions, do the same. If you have not already subscribed, what the fuck are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button now and bell for notifications. Love you guys so much. Talk to you soon.